All right, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Today, we're going to be having a look at a quadcopter that's been on the market for a couple of years now. This is the SEMA X8HG. Now, this quadcopter uh, was released in the United States, uh, and it came in a candy apple red color. Uh, this is a silver variant, the first one I've seen. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the box contents, and as well as I'm going to be rolling in some footage that I took today uh, at the park. Uh, so without further ado, uh, with this product, you are getting the four uh, proper guards uh, prop guards are good for beginners guys if you guys aren't beginners I would not recommend using these they can cut down on your battery life uh, and they can also get you stuck in a tree a lot easier uh, but if you're a newbie first time flyer that type of thing nice to have these so we'll go ahead and set these um, off to the side right now you're also getting the hardware to install those prop guards as well as the hardware to install uh, the landing gear which I already have installed prior to shooting the video and you're getting pins for the props you are getting uh, the obligatory orange screwdriver and a micro SD card reader which I'm kind of unclear on the quality of but it's nice that they include that um, we're also getting four uh, prop hold downs here uh, for the installation and I'll refer you guys to a video that I have for the SEMA AX8HC where I show you how to install the props we're getting four props here two A's and two B's we're getting a balance charger as well guys so this is kind of cool that they included this uh, nothing really too special here but it does a good job about two to three hours to charge a battery with this um, we're getting the uh, power cord for that as well uh, comes with an American plug and it basically just plugs in uh, via this little connector on the end right here and there we go and we have a balance plug end on there to plug your battery into so we'll set that aside over here. Uh, next thing is going to be the transmitter. Now this is an altitude hold quad, so you can notice that the uh, throttle stick on the left here is spring-loaded and will always return to center position. Uh, the um, included instruction manual with uh, the SEMA uh, quad copters is pretty comprehensive, so they will show you uh, in quite good detail uh, what all these controls are for. Uh, this is going to take four AA batteries, the battery battery is right here um, there is no screw to hold this down it stays in place pretty well uh, has a nice feel to it too guys I uh, can't say anything really bad about this it's a toy grade so it feels a little bit plasticky but still made really decently so that's a, a nice nice feel to it and, and nice size and the quadcopter itself, um, guys, uh, SEMA build quality has always been outstanding. I've never had anything bad to say about SEMA. Um, all the uh, SEMA quads that I have to this date are working out really good. Um, this is going to come with a HD uh, camera that shoots 8 uh, megapixel stills and also 1080 or 720p uh, video. And everything is accessible right from the remote control, which I kind of like. Um, so that's kind of a cool idea there. You don't have to to pre-start anything. Uh, this holder also will accommodate a GoPro style camera, uh, although I think that this camera in here is a little bit thinner in, in uh, width, so uh, it may be questionable if we can get a GoPro in there. And I'll check that out and I'll let you guys know in a future video. Uh, but we'll go ahead and pop this open here and I'll show you how this all gets connected. Uh, so we'll have to take off this top uh, micro SD and there we go. So now we can see that the camera is pretty decent it looks nice um, it has a switch on the side there right here for 720 and 1080 and we're also getting a micro SD slot and they even included a uh, 4 gigabyte uh, micro SD card so you don't have to purchase any of that which I think is a nice touch um, so the camera itself uh, is decently made. It has a, a little LED in the front there to tell you when it's on and recording. The lens obviously in the front. Uh, build quality is okay. It's not real super heavy. Um, but it's nice that it is uh, you know, switchable from 720 to 1080. Uh, it has a nice rubberized kind of feel about it too. So it's got a good texture as well. Um, the top here is where the uh, uh, quadcopter connects to the actual camera here and there's an included cable right here and I'll show you guys let me pull this um, this uh, 
uh, holder off of here real quick. Uh, pretty much standard on all SEMA X8s, that holder is the same. You can see there's a little vibration dampening here to cut down some of the jello effect. Um, and this is a clear plastic uh, holder. Now don't get the idea that this is going to be waterproof, it's not. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know that right off the bat. It just happens to be clear plastic. Um, so it fits together pretty easily, closes pretty nicely. Um, just a hinge on one side here and then it kind of uh, snaps together uh, kind of like a lunchbox I guess you could say. So we'll go ahead and just insert the camera um, in, and I want to show you guys real quick the uh, connector and there is a hole up on top here for the micro SD to fit through. Um, so everything's kind of modular there and let me just kind of there we go and this fits together like so kind of like an action camera um, waterproof case and there we go it kind of snaps together like a lunchbox and pretty standard for SEMA uh, the way they have their uh, quad set up and I'll show you this real quick here too by the way um, so we have a like a 3.5 uh, millimeter plug end on one end here and then a micro um, micro USB uh, uh, connector here that fits through the plastic get it in here the right way there we go and Standard for SEMA, the way the tracking is on here. Uh, this little tongue here would fit in the track. You'd slide it back and you would hear an audible click to make sure it's in place. And then you would go ahead and take the plug into the bottom of the uh, quadcopter here where it's marked plug. And we go ahead and insert uh, the uh, jack into the plug there and you're off to the races that's pretty much all we have to do as far as getting the camera connected uh, the back is going to be pretty standard for the SEMA X8 um, now we have the battery hatch here and then inside is an included uh, 7.4 let me see if I can get this out of here real quick and there we go. Okay, so now we have a 7.4 volt, uh, 2000 milliamp hour battery. Pretty common. These batteries are uh, pretty decently common and a balance uh, lead on the end there for your charger. Uh, pretty common, about 10 bucks to, to get uh, uh, additional batteries, 10 bucks a piece, so not really too expensive. And they're plentiful. They're all over on the internet. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description for extra batteries should you guys want to check that out um, as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, uh, flight time on this. Uh, about 10 minutes um, I was getting. Uh, so the battery just fits in and stows in the back here. Obviously, it's not connected right now, but we're not going to worry about that right now. It's just basically just to show you what is included in the package. 